Our next big story is one you saw first on WPRI.com. A major development in the battle between the city of Providence and the city's firefighter union. WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan joining me. Uh, Dan, the big development is that the city officially filed an appeal of a judge's ruling for this case to go to arbitration. So talk to us a little bit about this development. Sure, yeah, it's something we expected for a while. We, we, we knew this was coming at some point. It's taken a little bit of while. It's, it's almost two months now since the judge, uh, Judge Landfair, uh, you know, said that he, he expected this to go to mm -hmm. arbitration. The city now, th there's been a bunch of kind of formalities that have, that have happened. They've been back in court a couple of different times, but basically the gist here is that the, the su Superior Court made one decision. They're going to send this to the Supreme Court now, and, and the city's really hoping that it gets overturned. Now, I understand that the arbitration was supposed to start sometime in December. Will this development change that start date? It's a good question. We're not sure yet. So the city, in addition to uh, filing this appeal with the Supreme Court, they've asked the Supreme Court to stay basically the ruling to, to go to that arbitration in December. So if it, it could be held up, if not, the, they'll move forward. And the, the scary thing for the city, as we've talked about so many times, is if it, an arbitrator rules on, on the side of the firefighters, this could cost the city millions and millions of dollars. Now, speaking of the firefighters, I know this, you know, appeal was expected. Did you speak to the firefighters, though? Did they have anything to say about this? Yeah, the union? I talked to union. Uh, President Paul Dowdy today and you know their position pretty much is the same thing. They think that this is a bad decision to go to three platoons. They think that it's going to uh, ultimately cost the city more money especially if this you know this court process goes for a year or two years. This could end up being you know nine ten million dollars and so they're saying this is not a fiscally responsible move. And a saga that we will continue to I'm follow sure. I'm sure. <laughs> All right WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan thank you and